we have to understand that the world works like an energy grid, right? So if one of the transmitters goes out in the middle of the city of Chicago, that energy grid is not going to look like the perfect, you know, street line, like when you're flying in at night and seeing all the lights, because something's going to go down. So, but if you pull the light up, then that opens the chassis for more lights to come up. And eventually the light gets stronger than the dark. This is how we repair our communities. And it's all through the human heart. Hey everybody, welcome to another Awaken Your Relationships. Why? Because we're gonna help you get to a life that you love. Because if you figure out your relationships personally, you will figure them out then in your employer relationships, your employee relationships, your kids relationships, your family relationships at large. The key is build it from the inside out because it's all about working on you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe, like, and notification bell. Why? Because Rita and I are gonna help to get you to a life that you love. And today we're gonna talk about the fact that we have got challenges going on in our communities these days, the relationships within our communities. And um, Rita, actually, uh, we talked earlier, and this is a big thing because um, I wrote down some of the things you're talking about. Like, we've got uh, pedestrian, more pedestrian deaths. We've got more drive-by shootings. Obviously, some of the stuff that we talked about earlier was more people who are experiencing domestic violence. So the communities are starting to break down. And, and today, we want to really talk about, like, how do we get to this other side to repair these things, right? Uh, because it's mm -hmm. time for us to stop suffering. Oh, yeah. I get a lot of women who, you know, they've, they've gone through their therapy. They've done a lot of their healing. And, I, and they're like, I'm fine, but my kid's a drug addict. Or I'm fine but you know, my husband drinks or I'm fine, but I'm single and lonely and I don't want to date anybody. Mm. You know, there's this idea that just because we've gotten out of a bad situation or we've done some work that suddenly the rest of the world around us is supposed to be different. But the problem is we're getting more stressed out as communities. We are, right. Mm -hmm. And people Your are acting out. Are and hijacked. He, yeah. And it doesn't, and it doesn't matter. You know, this is, one of the things that's been coming up lately is people who are re-victimizing the victims, mm. you know, and I'm, I'm <laughs> fine. <laughs> that's such a true statement. I am so sorry. Yeah. That one just like hit me like a ton of bricks. I'm like, oh my God, you couldn't be more right. We're re-victimizing the victims. Oh yeah. It's, it's horrible what's happening. And so even though we've done our work and we go out there thinking I'm a strong, confident, good woman, people are still jerks. You yeah. could still get hit by a stray bullet. You could still go into the court system and lose. Right. You know, these, these, you things, <laughs> yeah, these things still exist. They still exist, even though you've done all your good healing work. And so our jobs, once we've done some work, is to help our families, to help our communities move towards a more stable, balanced place. So, and the way we do it is by being stable and balanced ourselves. So when you said that, what popped into my mind is the fact that, um, so we, every single human being has divine masculine and divine feminine energy. So we all men and women have operated tilted more towards the masculine side, which is the doing the competitive, the protecting all that stuff, but we've ignored the magic of the feminine. So when I hear you say that it's about the fact that we have to hold the container and hold the space in this repairing process so that people can rise up into it. Like they can choose, they can choose to, or they could choose not to. Right. And but so somebody's got to hold the space. Somebody has got to be the kindergarten teacher. And even though it's not right, even yeah. though it's not fair, the person who is most evolved, most stable, they're the ones responsible for the direction the relationships go. So yes, yes. if we're in a relationship with someone who's really screwed up, it's not our job to get down to their level and make them be different. It's our job to give them hope and a space and direction and guidance so that they'll find their way there. Cause I really do believe in most people. We have to speak to the light inside of them and stop speaking to the dysregulated angry side. And so, Unfortunately, you know, the, the side effect of doing all of your work 
is now you feel somewhat responsible for everybody else around you. Yeah, not anymore. <laughs> into those patterns of I'm responsible for you instead be responsible for yourself but create a bigger container a bigger vision for us to move towards because when people are lost they'll just keep going towards the dark we have to give them the light you've ignored your heart for so long because you have people pleased and fixed everybody's life and everybody loves the shit out of you for it because you're showing up for them People love codependents. They but love them. you're not showing up for you. Right. And I told her how this was just a pattern that's been passed down for generations. So I showed her how it went from generation to generation. No harm, no foul. It's just what it was. All good people doing exactly the best they knew how to do. Right? And that's, that's what happened. And I said, so if you're not really sure how, put your hand on your heart and say, heart, what do you want? You're not going to hear anything for a while. Because you've ignored you it for so long. You didn't send her to my website. What's that? <laughs> you didn't send her to my website. <laughs> no, no, like literally, that's what I told her. I, I just said, put your hand on your heart and just ask it because you have to almost wake it up and activate it. And so, all of us that are frustrated, like with our communities and what's going on, you can only fix you. This is not an outside job, it's an inside job. And but if you don't think you need fixing, if you think you've done all the work and you're tired of doing the work and you don't want to do any more work, you're going to keep getting triggered. That's just the way that the it thing. is. Switch it, flip it. It's not mm -hmm. work. It's about just right. ask your heart, like, what do you want? And it's right. funny. So when everyone else does their acting out, you know, that we talked about like in their communities and stuff, send them love and light and compassion because that's how you hold the container in a more powerful way. It's way more powerful. And that's why I always like to explain to people that we have to understand that the world works like an energy grid, right? So if one of the transmitters goes out in the middle of the city of Chicago, that energy grid's not gonna look like the perfect, you know, street line, like when you're flying in at night and seeing all the lights, because something's gonna go down. So, but if you pull the light up, then that opens the chassis for more lights to come up. And eventually the light gets stronger than the dark. This is how we repair our communities. And it's all through the human heart. You know, the yes. organization HeartMath, they- mm -hmm. One of my if favorites. You, if you have not heard of HeartMath, go look at the research. The human heart has a magnetic force going up to over eight miles and they just don't have anything to measure it farther than that. The mind is only two feet. And so, Tap into the heart. This is how we repair. Not other people's heart, not telling other, but go inside. What does your heart want? And then start following that. And then people will learn. Our communities are struggling. And it's like, if we focus on the struggle, we're gonna keep creating more struggle. Yes, yeah. There's a and, lot and... of things to focus on that are struggling these days. I, I just did a video the other day about um, all of the fear, like the stuff outside from a financial standpoint. Because it's like, oh, you can worry about interest rates rising up, inflation's going up, the gas pump prices are going up, we got a Ukraine war, we got, you know, blah, 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 just list it. But if you're measuring your happiness on all those things outside of yourself, you're designing the wrong plan. Right. Or if you By think default. to yourself, or if you think to yourself, I'm saying all the right things, I'm doing all the right things, why are the gas prices going up? Because <laughs> they're going to go up. This well, you're is, not in this control is, of them. Yes, you're not in control of them. Your job right. is to figure out how to be okay with the fact that the gas prices are going up or right. how to be okay with the fact that your neighbor is a passive aggressive jerk or okay right. with the fact that somebody's following you too close on the road mm -hmm. and then be okay with that fact, accept it as reality and then make your choice and say, okay, how do I want to deal with this reality? Right, right. That's so true. Now you said earlier, like we have to, we can't ignore people's suffering any longer. Can you talk right. more about that? Yeah, yeah. A lot of times, you know, because we are in an energy grid, our energy contributes to the whole, the whole grid. You know, so when people are feeling better, the whole grid has more power going through it. And when people are feeling worse, the whole grid goes down. And we feel it. You know, we can right. feel 
Um, and random number generators react to high levels of emotion. You know, right. random number right. generators went off the chart for 9-11. And I'm curious about what's going on with this Ukraine war. Totally. You know, so, yeah, we we are all part of a much bigger organism, a much bigger system. Right. And right. if we don't recognize that people are legitimately suffering, families are legitimately suffering, children are legitimately suffering, people are. If we think, well, I'll just be in my happy place and everything's okay, and we don't see that, they're going to keep suffering and pulling all of us down. But when we make a point to do something from our heart, to have compassion and love, maybe we go volunteer somewhere, or we mentor someone, or we stop for a moment and we're kind to somebody else. We're not blinders on, I got to get here, I got to do this. You know, when we start becoming a part of the community, contributing right. to it, not just wondering what's wrong with everybody. But not fixing it, right? That's not the balance. It. Like, don't, that's one of your stress responses if you go to try to fix mm -hmm. it. And it's fascinating to me. You know, I always say that um, prayer is talking to God in the universe and meditation is listening. And mm -hmm. um, I think those are some of the things that we've forgotten. So it goes back to the energy grid and you go back to the quantum field. Like if there's an intention or a prayer that many people are saying that is energy to create. We have to realize that's part of what is happening from a media perspective, right? Like whatever's being pushed out there is becoming knowledge across the board. It works just like how a prayer works, right? That it's just like, it's like group think. And so we yes. have to be very mindful of what we're plugging into. I think that's another way that we repair our communities because we are all being pressed to be careful of what's, what you're saying is right and what you're saying is wrong because we are all being called to go to this state of neutrality. And if we're projecting onto others that it's gotta be this way, well, then you're in duality, you're in the old model and you're in your suffering cycle, you know? Yeah. And, or you can sit there and say, okay, um, I am going to absorb this you know, and go, hmm, no, I'm not going to react. Like, I'm not going to, I'm going to hold the state of neutrality. Even though my pattern's been to absorb, I'm not the projector, but I, I might absorb it. No, I'm going to stay in neutrality and I'm going to just hold, you know, and, and not give that energy anymore. Like, people laugh at me. Like, I don't watch all this stuff on TV and news. Oh, like, I, I don't either. I know enough yeah. of what's going on to be aware, but I don't plug in any of it. None of right. it. And right. then I you get have the things to know from the it kids exists. School. Right. I get yeah, all this stuff from the kids' school about how they're all plugging into it and how like we have to fix it. And I'm like going, Yeah, no, can't yes. do it. stop. Can't yep. Do it. Yep. And yeah. that's we're we're taught as women that we're responsible for everybody and we're not. But then we do this healing thing and we basically say, Well, you know, I'm only gonna take care of me and everybody else has to deal with themselves. And that's and that's good, but you're still part of the community. There's right. still going to be drive-by shootings. There's still going to be domestic violence. There, your neighbor is still going to, you know, yell at his wife. So it's, these things are still there. And if we turn a blind eye to them and only look at our, our identity right. of who we are, right. you know, Julie or Rita, you know, then we're just as narcissistic as the people who are, are, you know, creating the drama in our communities. True that, true that. We're turning a blind eye to it. Be human. Woo woo. All right. Well, I want to just remind everyone, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell because Rita and I are here to help you get to a life that you absolutely love. And we will see you next week. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.